Hello and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here another inks comparison video, and this is Sailor Inks comparison number one. So I think with that, let's go and swab up some inks. The first ink is a Sailor Gentle ink, and this is actually now unfortunately decommissioned, but this is Sailor Gentle, and you'll see there, Apricot. So let's do an ink swatch. As you can see, this is a very apricotty kind of color ink. We'll do a second pass. And I know I get a lot of people asking me, why do you do a second pass? And I'm not doing a second pass over all of that uh, ink swatch. I'm only doing it over the first part. And this is because I'm trying to show the difference between what a wet writing nib and a dry writing nib would look like. So this is Sailor Gentle and it's Apricot or Apricot depending on how you want to say it. The next ink is Sailor Gentle and this is Kin Makusai, which is actually the replacement for Sailor Gentle Apricot. So we'll do an ink swatch here. And you'll see that this is very similar. Now I'm going to do another second pass. So this is Sailor. Gentle and it's Kin Makusai. But this is what I would say is the closest that you will get now to Sailor Gentle Apricot. The next ink is a Sailor Shikiori, and this is Fuji Sugata. So we'll do an ink swatch. Now, you can probably see how this ink is going down. This is a very watery colored ink. It's very faded. We'll do a second pass, just so that you can see the difference between a wet and dry nib. So this is Sailor, and it's Shikiori. And it is called Fuji, or Fuji, and it's Sugata, which is quite a lovely, sort of lilac y, lavender kind of colour. The next ink is again another Sailor Gentle ink. And the Sailor Gentle bigger bottles like this have now been. Uh, Decommissioned, so you can only get them in the Sh Shikiori range. And uh, this is Sailor Gentle Okuyama. So we'll do an ink swatch here. And this is quite a dark red. You can see there that it is a little bit more on the dry side. We'll do another second pass. There you go. And this is Sailor Gentle and it's Okuyama. Which is quite a nice red ink and I'm seeing it sheen massively already. The next ink, again, is another Sailor Gentle ink, and this is Sailor Gentle Shigure. So we'll do an ink swatch. And you can probably see already, this is quite a saturated ink. Do a second pass. 
just to see if we can get that to sheen a little bit. So this is Sailor Gentle and it's Sugar. which is a very highly saturated ink. And then the last Sailor Gentle ink I have here is Sailor Gentle, and this is Yamadori. So we'll do an ink swatch. And again, this is another highly saturated ink. We'll do a second pass just to try and pile on the ink a little bit just so that you can see the difference in a wet and dry writing nib. So this is Sailor Gentle and this is Yamadori. But that is uh, an interesting color ink. So let's take a look at these inks in a little bit more detail. So the first ink here is Sailor Gentle Apricot or Apricot. And you can see here the difference between a wet and dry nib. And you can see uh, the nib that I'm writing with is quite a wet nib because it looks more like this color. Now, there isn't a lot of shading going on here on this ink. Um, there is a slight amount of sheen that you can probably see there on camera. Um, it's just a small amount of sheen, but you see it around the pulled areas. The next ink is Sailor Gentle Kinmakusai, which is actually a very similar color ink to Sailor Gentle Apricot. Again, you're not seeing any um, sort of shading really going on there, but you again are seeing a little bit of sheen there not a lot but a little bit there that you can probably make out so you are seeing a little bit now if i put these two side by side you can see that they are a little bit different the sailor gentle apricot or apricot um i would say is a little bit more darker a little bit more maybe uh reddish orange uh, whereas this is a little bit more paler uh, but when you compare the dry versions of the ink, it's about the same. Uh, maybe a little bit more of a tinge on, uh, more uh, of a, a more deeper orange there on uh, Apricot. But you can see, though, that these two inks are actually pretty similar. So if you're really longing for Sailor Gentle Apricot and you can't get it because it is now sold out, it's discontinued, then do take a look at Kinmakusai. The next ink is a Sailor Shikiori ink, and this is Fuji Sugata. Now, you can see, again, there's not a lot of shading here. Maybe a little bit here on the pulled area. Um, you can see the dry versus the wet there. And um, if I take a look here, you are not seeing any sheen. But this is a nice sort of lilac-y, uh, I guess lilac, um, maybe violet, lavender, uh, that kind of sort of color, really. The next ink is Sailor Gentle Okuyama. And this is an interesting ink because it really does change a lot. So you can see here in the light area on the single pass, it is a sort of faded red ink. But here on the wet, it actually goes a lot deeper, almost like a magenta. And if I take a look here, I'm hoping you're going to be able to see this on camera. There is a lot of sheen going on here. Um, it's it's hard to see, but you can see it around these areas here, uh, up here as well. So it, it really uh, does sheen quite a lot. The next thing is Sailor Gentle Shigure. And this again is a, another interesting ink because again it changes color massively. So you've got the dry uh, one pass here, which is really like a, I guess, a bit more like a blue black. And then you've got this dark area. Uh, there's not a lot of shading going on. But then if I can show you this, you'll see here, look at that sheen. There's a huge amount of sheen on that ink. 
So this does sheen. It's almost like a gold sheen that you get out of Sailor Gentle Shigure. And then the last thing here is Sailor Gentle and it's Yamadori. And if I just bring this a little bit closer to the camera here, you'll see that this is an, on the one pass a teal ink. And uh, again, you'll see a darker area here. Again, there's not a lot of shading, uh, but the, um, if I can get it here on camera, let's see if I can show you here. It does have quite a bit of sheen going on. There you go. You could just see it there. So this, again, is a very heavy sheening ink as well. So that's my Sailor Ink Comparison number one video. If you like any of these inks, and do let me know in the comments below. Likewise, if there are any Sailor Inks that you also have that I haven't showcased yet, then do let me know in the comments below. So that's my Sailor Inks Comparison number one video. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye-bye.